on this episode of Dr. Phil. Lashes out for everything. I can't believe he cheated on me. He has attacked me both physically and verbally. <laughs> She's crazy. I'm just ready to give up. I don't know what else to do. Gina loves and cares about me. She's my best friend. I can't believe you're this cruel. Can you just shut that darn kid up? <laughs> Why won't you shut up? Give her back. No. She's my child. She's my daughter too. What? Are you going to take her when you leave me? Yes. I'm her father. Well, I'm her mother. So? She's mine. reason our marriage is ending the way it is she never tells me what she wants she lashes out for everything she expects perfection from me I want to be a good father to sunflower and I really want to be I don't think I can ever be in the same room with her again I can't fix this marriage we try and try but I'm not happy I know I'm painted as the bad guy because I cheated on her but at least I'm with Gina I can be myself with her. I'm happy. I take Sunflower away from Sheila. I think she's insane. I think she's going to drag Sunflower down. At least with Gina and me, Sunflower will be raised in a safe and loving environment. The accusations of me harming Sunflower are ridiculous. I love my daughter. My wife, on the other hand, I don't have any positive feelings towards her. Hi, my name is Gina Grande, and I'm Stuart's girlfriend. I used to be Sheila's best friend, but that was all before this. Stuart and I worked together. I met Sheila in college. We were roommates. She introduced me to Stuart before we started working together. It wasn't until about a year ago that Stuart and I began to have an intimate relationship together. At first, I felt like I betrayed Sheila, but Stuart began to inform me about how Sheila treated him. I didn't believe him, but once, she, once Sheila found out about the affair, I saw how insane she was. She has attacked me both physically and verbally. She doesn't listen to what I have to say. Sheila will get in my face and scream about how I ruined her life. She has slapped and hit me on several occasions. She doesn't even care about Stuart or, or my feelings. To her, it's all Sheila's world and we're all just living in it. One year later, Sheila and Stuart have worked through the legal hoops, ending their marriage. However, their relationship is now in a better place. So much happier. I see Sunflower every, every other week. Has Stuart and I live about 20 minutes away. There were some bumps in the, in the road, but we talked and we expressed our feelings and we worked them out. We really know how to properly communicate and express our feelings now. Unfortunately, Gene and I didn't work out but I haven't let that affect Sheila and I's relationship. I've been in my relationship with Gina, though so nothing will ever be the same. I can at least talk to her, which is an improvement. Co-parenting is going well, and Stuart and I are talking and having discussions and about what's best for Sunflower. <laughs> I feel so relieved. We've worked out on the kinks. Although the romance between us is gone, I'm so fond of Sheila. I want the best for her. I want the best for our family. And right now, we are in a really good place. I've even started dating. All in all, I'm just so proud of Stuart and I for working all of this out. Although we're no longer married, we are friends, and I think that's what matters. I can't believe you did this! I can't believe you want to leave me for her. Gina loves and cares about me. 